then by extension up to Philadelphia. Then they built the northern extension to this, Sorry. and that went to uh, Pine Grove so that they could pick up uh, coal and bring it down here. We had a program at the, at the, Union, at the uh, Historical Society a couple weeks ago, pirates on the Union Canal. Really? Now you, <laughs> you say pirates and you think that Frank Orn hats and cutlasses and all this stuff, and I'm thinking to myself, why? But it wasn't. Uh, it's just a bunch of thugs who would sometimes drop off bridges and take over a boat and steal whatever's there, do whatever it is with the with the crew. And just it was amazing. It was a good program, but it's not something you would normally think about. Well, let's take a wander down here and see what else we can find. And it's the oldest existing transportation tunnel in the United States. The tunnel actually started. Uh, at 729 feet through solid rock, uh, shale interspersed with limestone veins. It's now 600 feet because when they uh, renovated, they shortened it. The tough part was that they had to get through all of this and all they had for blasting was black powder, which is very volatile. There were some deaths uh, and that's partly why there's no area, no towpath area. They would bring the boats to here, lead their mules and horses up over the top, pull the boat through the tunnel, and then get the, get their transportation on the other side. It was uh, designated as a National Historic Civil Engineering Landmark in 1970. It's 80 feet below the surface uh, of the ridge. Work began in 1825 and completed in 1827. Simeon Guilford, those of you who are familiar with Lebanon, Guilford Street was named for Simeon Guilford, and he was the engineer in charge. The first boat was the Alpha of the Tulpahocken on June 12th of 1827. In the early 1930s, the uh, Civil Works Administration worked on restoring the tunnel, and that's when that stone marker that you saw in the parking lot was dedicated. On December 29th, 1933, on request of the Lebanon County Historical Society, the Eastern Real Estate Company, who was a successor in title to the Union Canal Company, granted the Lebanon County Historical Society the right to enter, enter the property and stake fifth reserve. April 1950, the Historical Society completed the purchase of the tunnel at its recent property, and they'll start up at the far end of the park and go through the tunnel to the other side, and then you come back. Because we now have the we now own the north side of the tunnel also, or the north side of the canal. Reading Edna Carmian's book, the Union Canal, of course, went over this way towards West Lebanon and in um, behind Brant's Mill. Mm -hmm. And so the point being, the railroad came north south along the Swatara Creek from Schuylkill County. And you also have the railroad here behind us going east west to Reading. So what happened was the two railroads and the canal intersected in West Lebanon. Oh, okay. And so the industrial area um, just s south of Coleman Park, there's a still big old buildings there. Yeah. Well, the Colemans bought all of West Lebanon and they bought it because all those transportation arteries intersected right there. Oh. They could get coal, coal and lumber and other kinds of goods off of both the canal and the railroad uh -huh. and loaded on the railroad that went out to Cornwall Furnace. And then that way they could use it to make charcoal and iron and things like that. So this was the hub of transportation in the day and um, used by the Iron Kings, the Coleman's and yeah. Brock's. Well, and also the... Uh Miller Orchid Company, which was at 8th and Maple Street. They were by the their, canal. Their back door was on Water Street. Yes. It was called that very appropriately because it was a canal. Mm -hmm. They'd build their pianos and organs and take them out the back door, put them on a boat, gone. 